Brian, uh, much ballyhooed perhaps, just like every big product announcement these days, but what in your mind will it take for Facebook's, Facebook's new phone to be a success? I think, frankly, a success will just be getting people to buy it, use it, and getting more people to use a, a Facebook skin or a Facebook uh, layer uh, on other phones. Because remember, this could be part of a broader strategy. Um, but at the end of the day, that, that's, it, Brian, it's that's not, a pretty low yeah. bar, just getting people to, to buy, buy it. it. <laughs> I, you know, it, it's not, I don't believe this is that material uh, a, a piece of news, frankly. I mean, John, John basically uh, characterized it very well. Uh, this does not lead to new revenue. It contributes in a very indirect way to improve stickiness for their existing customer base. That's great. Well, that's but if that people like it. That's if people actually use it and they find the interface, uh, you know, not off Friendly. Sure. Yeah. But presumably, if you're buying it, it's because you want to have this environment. But it's not going to be a game changer at all. It, what it will do is just for a subset of the population uh, who likes the features, they'll be using Facebook a little bit more. That's it. How many people need to buy it? Oh, I don't know. I mean, but it, it's unlikely that they'll get any kind of meaningful market share. I, I'm, not a, I'm not counting on this as being, like I said, it's not likely to be a game changer. Then is this okay. a press event? It, yes. So, okay, hang on. You, you've, you've raised the very, both you and Stephanie have raised a very good point. Why does Mark Zuckerberg do this then? We got used to new product announcements. Uh, Steve Jobs style right, for Steve, real Steve new Steve products. Job style. You know, everyone would show up. He'd be in his black, you know, black mock turtleneck and the jeans, and it would be a major event. Mark Zuckerberg, time and again, holds press events that are a big ho hum, right? A real meh. You yes. know, graph search, everybody walked away going, uh, okay, so graph search sounds interesting, but it's Who clear cares? we are going to see this turn into a meaningful part of Facebook's business perhaps for years. It sounds like the phone could be the same kind of thing. Why, wh uh, why generate buzz if it doesn't really generate buzz? Because we're talking about it. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, but we're talking circular. about it in a way that is not especially in a good way. complimentary. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, here's the thing. You know, pragmatically, getting press about it, creating buzz, getting people to think about Facebook as being mobile first. There's an intangible value when it comes to recruiting talent, when it comes to making investors think favorably in a fuzzy way about them. Um, there are intangible benefits to this. So I'm not trying to completely diminish it, but I'm saying very pragmatically, when you look at the numbers and you expect, you know, what's revenue increase is going to come from this, it's not material. All right, then what's your price target on Facebook and to, does today's event affect where Facebook's going to trade in your mind? Not really. I, I, so I have a $36 price target on it right now. I get really optimistic now about things like FBX, which is this ad exchange. That's new money, money that was not showing up. That's a big deal. It's $500 million plus dollars incremental this year, in my view. Um, I get excited about promoted posts. They're getting small businesses that weren't spending much money with them to spend a lot more money with them. Uh, international growth is doing really, really well. So all of these factors are frankly going to be big catalysts that I think the street's missing right now. We're going to see them in the next couple of quarters.